Hi everyone, it's Niven, and today I am playing two random horror games. First one is called Lost Laboratory, developed by Anonymous Studio, and this game was made in Copper Cube 6 Engine. My friend advised me to play this and check this one out and support the developer, so let's start playing. You're a detective investigating a laboratory that has been abandoned for some time, and you suspect that human experiments were taking place in the laboratory. So you decide to take a closer look. Hmm. Find five pieces of evidence that experiments took place. Oh, all right. Oh, creepy. Tip, the proofs are on papers. So we're going to be looking for papers. Well, basic idea, just like Slenderman. Um, oh. Oh, I found one, I found one. All right, that's cool, that's cool. So, how is everyone today? Oh! Oh. I see. Oh, we have a chasing dude. Or maybe gal. Um, how do I escape this? Oh, it's right there. Nice jam! Yeah! So we can juke, what? What? No! You were caught by an entity. All right, let's retry this one more time. For instance, when I go here, right? Um, yeah, right, right here. I found this piece of evidence and then, you know, I can juke him, you know, like this. All right, so here it is. Here. All right, let's go. So I did this, this is fine. Now, right here, I have this chair. Well, he's not coming at me. I think he's, I think he's bugged, so. Well, we can finish this game in quiet and peace. So, find another evidence, which is right here. And the last evidence would be probably somewhere here. Found it. You got all the proofs. Nice. Now we can go to court. And the next sequel to this game is going to be court. Now, without any sarcasm or jokes, I enjoyed the premise of the game. I think one of the problems which Copper Cube has is constant AI development. For example, in Unity games and Unreal games, you can kind of have multiple variations of AI chasing you and the NPCs being in the game, but it's very difficult with Copper Cube 6 and that's that's the major issue which I'm always having with the bad guys because creating a bad guy for the game is very important and very difficult. This one was great. Now let's move on to the game number two. And our second game is called Last Stop, developed by Musman123. Let's start playing. I have no idea why I'm so creepy. All right, we're in the car. Oh, 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 what's wrong with the mouse? Oh, my neck. I probably have, you know, some type of problem. Uh, do I? Oh, I can drive the car. Oh, sweet. All right, five points to Gryffindor. What a shit day. Couldn't get worse. Well, you tell me. Whoa, 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 what the? Car's gonna run out of fuel soon. Better make a pit stop. Pit stop? What do you think you were like in Formula One race? Oh, nice. No cars at all. Strange. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. 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 Oh shit! 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 shit, shit. <laughs> Crash. I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to turn. Oh, frame rate dropped. Frame rate dropped. All right. Park. All right, you can park. Oh, we're gonna crash again. Oh, I see. Oh, the mouse sensitivity is so fucking big. All right. So is anyone here? Notice of closure. Dear drivers, please note that this gas station will be closed starting from redacted on redacted due to the following. Not safe. We are sorry for all inconveniences caused by this closure. Normal operations will resume on. Don't come back. Have a safe journey. Wow. So... We go back? Is that what we do? No. Look at my car. What is this? 
Racing car. Oh, yeah. This should have gas inside it, just need an empty canister. Oh, I see. Hello? Um, hello, sir. Uh, all right, really? Wait, 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 wait. Please press E to pick up gas. The heck? Is someone in my car? Oh, it stopped. All right. Maybe I didn't stop it. Who knows? Press T. Yeah. Go. Oh, right. We are done. Oh, so I can go? This is kind of nice. I wish someone has made a game like this. In terms of like just driving at night and there was a big road, maybe like 15 minutes to 20 minutes, even an hour. Like I would literally pay money for a game like that and you have random things happening in the game. That, that would have been, you know, decent, decent game. But yeah, it takes a lot of time. I actually like the car's movement, but oh shit shit shit, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? What? Did I, did I crash? Quick thoughts about the game. I enjoyed this actually. I liked the car mechanics. They, they were realistic enough and very easy actually to handle. And I really enjoyed the overall quality. Unfortunately, I didn't understand the story, what was behind that guy in the end following us. I thought maybe it was some kind of, you know, serial killer or something like that. But uh, yeah, overall, the game is decent. And um, those were two random horror games. What can I say? They're short. They're just small experiences, which you can spend time on. Links are in the description. Definitely check them out. Support the developers. And uh, thanks everyone else for watching. Have a wonderful ride. Take care.